Return. Commemorate the liberation. There is really no way of forcing the outcome, forcing the peace, forcing the outcome of that war, short of putting in very large numbers of ground troops. And this, in effect, entering the war with ground combat forces. This the United States is not prepared to do, this NATO is not prepared to do. Are you prepared to commit the comments of uh, President, uh, I'm sorry, we were deeply saddened by the comments of uh, Defense Secretary Perry, in particular President Izbegovic was saddened uh, uh, by the timing of those comments. Uh, we think that uh, no matter how accurate the assessment may be of the situation in Vihach, uh, admitting impotence, uh, in fact, only encourages the Serbian forces to advance. Get to questions. Could I ask you to wait for the microphone to come around, and then please identify yourself and your organization. Uh, over here, uh, down on the left. Yeah, certainly I agree strongly with what Secretary Perry said yesterday in the United States. Their power cannot determine the outcome of the ground combat. There is a role for NATO air power in uh, defense of uh, the UN forces, uh, to keep the skies clear, to deal with heavy weapons. But these are, these are clearly defined roles. And they have been used in the past. They may be used in the future. But it's an illusion. And as I said this morning, a cruel illusion to suppose that uh, NATO from the air can determine the outcome uh, of this war. say that they have refused. I said they have been. Although I have said we cannot use air power to free uh, Bihar, we are in the process of discussing uh, ceasefire, and we have put forward proposals on the table that would require immediate ceasefire, demilitarization of the area, withdrawal of all military personnel, with the UN uh, on pro four forces taking charge of, of the of the of the city. Hopefully, this will be acceptable to both sides. The government side has indicated its willingness to accept it, and the Serb uh, side had indicated that they will give us a response within the next hour or two. So by the end of the day, we should also have the air response. What is have you had contact with these troops? Yes, we're talking to all the convoys uh, at the moment. And they're not reporting any problems at all? Uh, quite the reverse. They're barely being told they're held there until the situation clarifies itself. We've also had assurances from the uh, Pali uh, authorities that they are uh, considering now a release. But of course, I don't want to raise false hates because we've had many false promises made uh, in this country before. But at the moment, I would urge people not to uh, uh, get unduly uh, worried about what's happening. We've been through it before. It is an anxious time for us all, but if we keep calm and keep cool, we'll get through it okay. Sramotno je za humanitarne organizacije da, da nam ne pomažu, oni su pobjegli. Understand that it, oh, the doctor is saying it is a shame that all the humanitarian organizations that were in BH have simply picked up and left. They have not left any supplies, they have not left anything so that the Bihać hospital is able to further um, work under these conditions. They have just picked up and left.